Welcome back to Mo's Learning Moments and today we're doing part two of shapes. I have some shapes here in the table that I'm going to show you and the first one I'm going to pick today is this one. This is called an ellipse. It is the same shape, the top is the bottom. This is an ellipse. This is an oval. It looks very like the ellipse, but the oval is narrower at the top and wider and broader at the bottom. What that means, everyone, is the top is a little bit pointier, but if we pick up the ellipse again, it is the same, the top and the bottom. Look at the oval. It's a little bit pointier at the top. And look at the ellipse. It's rounder on the top like the bottom. This is an ellipse, if we remember, and this is an oval. Let's look at this one. This is called a quatrefoil. Quat means four. So look, one, two, three, four. Looks a little bit like a flower or a cloud in the sky. This is a quatrefoil. Okay, this one. This shape is called a trapezoid. Looks a bit like a roof on a house. A trapezoid. And this shape is called a pentagon. The pentagon has five sides. Would you like to help me count them? One, two, three, four, five. A pentagon. Now I'm going to take the five shapes out. And we're going to look very closely and see, can we put them back in the right pink case? So this one, can you remember what this is? An ellipse, that's right. Where does it go? Look closely. Oh, it fits in there. Oh, can you remember this one? That's right, it's called a pentagon. Where do you think this fits? Oh, it fits in there. And do you remember this one? Oh, sorry, I dropped it. Do you remember this one? It's a quatrefoil. Looks a little bit like a flower or a cloud in the sky. And that goes in there. Let me pick this one. Can you remember what this one is? It's a trapezoid bit like the roof of your house. And where do you think that goes? Oh, that's right. It goes in there. And the last one. Do you remember this one? An oval. This is an oval. And look where it goes. Yes, in there. Now, today I'm going to draw some pictures using the shapes. Would you like to watch? The first shape I'm going to pick is the quatrefoil. And if I put it down here and trace around it, lift it up, looks like a flower. So do my stem and my leaves and my little circle in the middle. This is a flower using a quatrefoil. So we'll put this one down there. Okay, the next one I'm going to pick is the trapezoid. And I'm going to trace the trapezoid. And can you guess what I'm going to make? Do you remember I said it was like the roof of my house? So look. 
draw some windows. And how about a door? And maybe a chimney. I used the trapezoid to make the roof of my house. Okay, the next one I'm going to use today is the pentagon. Can you see the pentagon? I'm going to trace the pentagon, the five sides. Ooh, what am I going to make out of the pentagon today? Oh, I might make a cupcake with a cherry on top. Oh, look at that lovely cupcake. I will put that. My ellipse, let me trace the ellipse. How about we draw a head, two little eyes and a mouth, some legs using my ellipse shape, and maybe some spots. Do you know what I made? I made a ladybird. What do you think of that? A ladybird. And then I have one more today and it is my oval. And guess what I'm going to make with the oval? You have to wait and see. I'm going to trace the oval, put the oval back. I'm going to make an Easter egg. That's my bow and my different designs and the lovely paper covering my chocolate egg. And we put that over with that. Today we worked with these shapes. An ellipse, a pentagon, a trapezoid, a quatrefoil and an oval. Thank you for watching today part two of shapes and see you next time. Bye!